Good morning everyone. Here we are seeing about the diseases which cause the nephrotic syndrome. So we had already seen about a minimal change disease. Now we are going to see about membranous nephropathy. This membranous nephropathy will also cause nephrotic syndrome. The clinical features. Okay. So let us derive from the name. As the name says there is a problem in the membrane of the kidney. What is the membrane of the kidney? The basement membrane is the membrane that has been uh, indicated here. Fine. So, there are numerous uh, reasons for this membrane is nephropathy, which you need to know. So, the first one is infection. Membranous nephropathy is most commonly because of hepatitis B. Very, very rarely it is due to hepatitis C. But on the other hand, if you see, we had already discussed about membrane proliferative uh, MPGN, right? There, hepatitis C is much more common. Here, hepatitis B is common. And the other one is drugs. So, drugs like what? Drugs like uh, penicillamine, dapsone, gold salts, uh, uh, sulfonamides can result in membranous nephropathy, right? And the third one is cancer. Cancer like breast cancer, pancreatic cancer can also result in membranous nephropathy. And the fourth one is autoimmune. So, mostly the reason for the autoimmune is phospholipase PFY2 receptor antibodies. Fine. So, how do, what is this phospholipase receptor antibodies? I had already told you that about this podocytes, right? So, let us see where the membrane and where the podocytes are. Say for example, this is the Bowman's capsule. And here we have the afferent and the efferent arterioles, which will be forming the tuft of the glomeruli. Fine. So, they form the tuft of the glomeruli. This glomeruli is covered with the basement membrane. Isn't it? And here we are, we will be having the podocytes. They are the specialized... Uh, epithelial cells, isn't it? This PLY2 receptor is that receptor in this uh, podocytes. This is the PLY2 receptor. So, these receptors are present on the podocytes and in membranous nephropathy, this antibody is directed against this uh, PLY2 receptor. Okay. So, since uh, uh, this is this is the pathology in uh, membranous nephropathy, okay, not exactly in membranous nephropathy, this etiology, the antibody against PLY2 receptor, that is what is causing uh, this membranous nephropathy. Am I clear guys? Okay. So, let us uh, go forward. So, here in membranous nephropathy, you should remember that it also causes spike. So, what do you understand by spike and dome appearance? This spike and dome appearance is seen sub-epithelial spike and dome appearance. Where is, what is the epithelium? I told you that the podocytes are specialized epithelial cells. And we also know that the, in membranous nephropathy, the basement membrane is affected. In addition to it, there will be epithelium in, in between the basement membrane as well as the podocytes. Because these podocytes, I mean there will be spike and dome appearance in between the podocytes as well as the basement membrane. So, they will be seen as a spike and dome appearance. These are the antibodies. But um, even though the antibodies are directed against PLY2 receptor, especially in the in autoimmune case scenario, but even in membranous nephropathy, you will be seeing a spike and dome appearance, which will be appearing as a spike and a dome. Okay. Yeah, spike as well as a dome. So, where will this be present? This will be present in the sub-epithelium. So, sub-epithelium is these are the podocytes, isn't it? And this is the basement membrane. So, in between the podocytes and the basement membrane, you will be having this type of arrangement, which is common in membranous nephropathy. So, this, this is in between these two. Am I clear, guys? Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for listening.